Hello, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Clear, teacher. Yes. yes, you can. Okay, thank you for attending to today's class. Uh, this is the week number four. And this is the class number uh, number 13. And we will continue today with the uh, with the last week of classes. Remember that on next Thursday, we conclude classes. Next Thursday, we finish level number three. Okay, so we're going to start with a, we're going to start with a speaking activity. Okay, tell me, what did you do on Saturday? And what did you do on Sunday? Let's practice the simple pass, everybody. So what did you do on Saturday? And what did you do on Sunday? Uh, let's see, let's start with uh, Jose Sol. Tell us please, what did you do on Saturday? And what did you do on Sunday? Okay, Jose, turn on the microphone, please. Turn on the microphone. I went to the. En uh -huh. el, el Sunday and. Saturday and Sunday. What did you do on Saturday first? Saturday and. En. En uh, un paseo. Okay. I, I had a picnic. I had yeah. a picnic. I had a picnic, yeah. And Sunday and and a capaci capacitation. Ah, in this case, I had a training. A I had a training the test the Tribunal Supremo. Okay. What about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. No. No, 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 no. You don't remember? What did you do no. yesterday? No, no. Oh. Okay, very well. You went to the church, you slept, you ate typical food. Um, ribs, Castillas, ribs. Ah, ribs, you ate ribs. Okay, very well. So you had a training. Okay, you, you had a picnic and you ate ribs. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes. Now let's continue with a different participant. Let's continue with uh, uh, Iris. Tell us, please, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Uh, on Saturday, I. I had a training with my team in the beach. And Sunday, I went to the park with my family. Okay, great. Thank you, Ibis. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's continue with Alejandro. Alejandro, tell us, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Good evening. Good evening. I... I worked in the yard on Saturday. Um, I went to a birthday party on Sunday. Okay, very well. Very well, thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. Now let's continue with Israel. What do you do on Saturday and Sunday? Make a short report, please. And Sunday, visit visited the Cerro Verde with my family. Mm -hmm. and, and yesterday I I visited Shores. And you visited the church yesterday. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Israel. Now let's continue okay. with um, let's see Jose. Jose Bella now. Jose, what did you do on Saturday and what did you do on Sunday? Okay, teacher. Uh, well, on um, Saturday, I I rested uh, with my 
my work. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in, in my house. I, I read, read uh, my favorite books, uh, uh, Game of Thrones books. Game of Thrones books, mm -hmm. okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and on Sunday, I went to visit my sister in San Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Thank okay. you for your participation. Now, let's listen to Kenya. Kenya, what did you do on Saturday and what did you do on Sunday? Mm, on Saturday, I uh, had a lunch with some friends and after I visited my grandmother. Okay. Uh, on Sunday, I washed clothes and I went to the church uh, in, in the afternoon. And you went to the church in the afternoon. Okay. Well, thank you, Kenya. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Santiago. What did you do on Saturday and Sunday, Santiago? In Saturday, I work in my house. I watch the television mm -hmm. and Sunday I went to electricity class electricity class okay he uh, I watch television to me you watch television too okay thank you thank you very much Santiago now let's continue with Tamara Tamara what did you do on Saturday and Sunday Hello, Tamara, can you hear me? Uh, hello. hello. <laughs> yes. Um, I celebrate the birthday of my grand grandfather. And Sunday, I uh, shopping. Doing shopping. Um, uh, perdón, ¿cómo se dice? Las compras del supermercado. Ah, in this case, I did the shopping. I did the shopping in the supermarket, you could say. I did the shopping in the supermarket. Okay. Very well. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with Katia Monterrosa. Katia, what did you do on Saturday? What did you do on Sunday? Tell us, please. On Saturday, I went out with my dog. I slept all morning mm -hmm. and I still study English and did homework. Okay. And on Sunday, I went out with my dog. I cleaned my house. I I wash my clothes. And you wash your clothes too. Okay. And I study English again. Okay, that's very important. Okay, you said English too. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Kayla. Kayla, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? On Saturday, uh, I did exercise with my sister. I cut my hair. Okay. On Sunday, I went to church. You went to the church? And I slept. And you slept? Slept. I slept. slept. I slept. Very good. Now, finally, we have Evelyn here. Evelyn, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Evelyn, can you hear me? Evelyn Enriquez? Okay, maybe she has issues with her, with her internet, with her end, with her audio. So let's continue, everybody. We're gonna make a review of the, let's make a review of the simple pass in this case. Let's have a very simple exercise here. Let's have some practice. 
I will show you some exercise and you will give me the verb in the past. We have just irregular verbs. Okay, check it out, please. Okay, for example, let's see. Uh, is. How can you complete the idea number one? The sentence number one. Okay, Carla went to New York last December. That's right. In this case, we have the verb go in the past. In this case, Carla went to New York last December. That's right. Now let's continue with the number two. Jose, Jose Sol, what do you think? Complete idea number two, please. I late pass for lunch. Eight, I ate pasta for lunch, that's right. So in this case, I ate pasta for lunch, you can say here. Okay, thank you, Jose. Uh, Jose, choose a different classmate, please, Jose. Okay, Jose. No, lo entendí. Ah, select a different classmate. Seleccione un compañero distinto. Um, Kayla. Okay, Kayla. Number three is for you, Kayla. What do you think? We drank when during the party. That's right. Okay, we drank wine during the party. So in this case, the passing for drink is drank. Remember, remember everyone, the importance of learning the verbs in the past. So in this case, we drank wine during the party. Kayla, a different classmate, please. Choose a different classmate. Jenny. Jenny. Melendez. Jenny Melendez. Number four. What do you think? Tom ran in the Boston Marathon last year. Perfect. Very good. So in this case, the pass of run is run. Observe, everybody. So in this case, Tom ran the Boston Marathon last year. Jenny, a different classmate, please. Um, Evelyn Hernan Enriquez. Evelyn, Evelyn Enriquez. What do you think about number five? My father has many problems in his last job. That's right. In this case, my father had many problems in his last job. So in this case, it's had. The pass of have is had. That's right. Okay. A different classmate, Jenny, please. Number six, the last one. Jenny, a different classmate, please, for number six. Okay. Um, Israel Lemos. Israel. What do you think about number six, Israel? I, I do. Lasagna for dinner last night. No, that's not possible, okay? The class of do is did. But in this case, we have a different verbs, make. What do you think? Oh. Huh? So, can anybody help me here, please? What's the number six? Made. Made, that's right. Made. So, this is... 
me. So as you can see, don't confuse everybody. When you're talking about uh, when you're talking about something that you manufacture with your hands, something that you manufacture with your hands, this is made. Okay, something that you manufacture with your hands. Algo que usted hace con sus manos. Okay, this is made. And when it's a specific activity, this is do. For example, do the homework, do aerobics, okay, do the shopping. This is a specific activity. But when you manufacture something with your hands, for example, it's made. Make dinner, make a cake, etc. Okay. Now, everybody, let's continue with a different topic for tonight. For tonight, we will continue with a very simple topic, but at the same time, it's a little confusing. This is the verb to be in the past. Observe, please, we have the two forms, the present and the past. For example, I am is in the present. Okay, and then in the past is I was. What is the meaning of this, uh, of the verb to be in this context? What is the translation? I was is when you say, for example, yo fui or yo estuve. Yo fui or yo estuve. For example, you say, I was in my house last night. Okay, I was in my house last night. Okay, yo estuve, estar. And you can say, for example, I was a good student in high school. I was a good student in high school, for example. Yo fui un buen estudiante en bachillerato. So in this case, everybody, ser o estar en pasado. Yo fui o yo estuve. I was. Okay, and then if it's plural, check it, please. We are, you are, they are. So in the past is we were, you were, they were. And if we have the third person, he, she, or it, again, we use was. Don't confuse the, the subjects, please. Was is for I, he, she, and it. Okay, he was, she was, it was. Okay. And for the plural form or for you, we use were. Okay, and then we have the negative form. Pay attention, please. This is the negative form. Uh, when we have the negative form, we only include uh, the this uh, contraction. Was it? Okay, was it? I was it. Yo no fui. Yo no estuve. I wasn't. So that's the idea. I wasn't. But in this case, okay, the question is, was I? We only change the position of the verb to be. That's it. We change the position of the verb to be. We change the position of the verb to be. Okay? So, and then if it's plural, were it. You were it. Okay, and the question is, were you? Were you? That's right. Okay, and now, everybody, let's continue with uh, some exercises here. Let's, let's have a very simple exercise. Observe, please. So in this case, let me write something that you did, something you have to express where were you yesterday. I was yesterday morning. Uh -huh. I was in my house yesterday morning. I was in the church yesterday morning. So remember yesterday was Sunday. Where were you? So where were you yesterday morning? Okay, and then the next idea, the next idea is this. I was 
this morning? Where were you this morning? And then, and the number three. So in the number three, we have the kind of student, the kind of student you were in high school, everybody. Do you remember? I was a, in high school. Remember in Spanish? In Spanish, we say bachillerato, secundaria. But in English, it's high school. High school, don't confuse. Oh, don't confuse it with college. When we say college, this is universidad, okay? Universidad. So in this case, I was in the church yesterday morning. I was in my house yesterday morning. Number two, I was in my house this morning. I was in my workplace. I was uh, in the supermarket this morning. And the number three, it's a different idea. I was a student in high school. Yo fui un, un buen estudiante en bachillerato. I was a good student in high school. I was a problematic student in high school. I was a hardworking student in high school. I was a, a, I was a funny student in high school. That depends on you, okay? So when we finish, everybody, you have to complete the ideas in the chat. Okay, me voy al chat general. And I share these ideas. Okay, the first one is, I was in the church yesterday morning, for example. I was in my workplace this morning. I was a good, well, I was a problematic student in high school. But you have to complete the three ideas. The three ideas at the same time. Okay, everybody, observe. Pay attention to the chat, please. This is my example. I was in the church yesterday morning. I was in my workplace this morning. I was a problematic student in high school. Now complete the idea, please. Complete the idea in the chat, everybody. Okay, let's do it. Okay, pay attention to the screen. This is the example. This is the example. Okay, let's do it. Remember everybody, this is the place you were. Usted está describiendo el lugar donde estuvo ayer. I was in my house yesterday. I was in the supermarket yesterday morning. I was in the church. I was in the gym. Okay, in the case of Evie, I was in the supermarket yesterday morning. I was in the gym this morning. I was very friendly in the high school. I was in the supermarket yesterday morning. I was in my house this morning. I was a problematic student in high school. Era número tres es lo que usted fue. Yo fui un, 
un buen estudiante, un mal estudiante, un estudiante problemático, etc. So, remember, you need to include the place. Tiene que incluir el lugar donde usted estuvo ayer por la mañana. Yo estuve en... I was in Metro Centro yesterday morning. I was in my... In the supermarket this morning, etc. I was a happy student in high school. Okay, everybody, continue, please. Continue. Just two more minutes. Okay, so in this case, I was in the house of my mother yesterday. I was in the church yesterday. I was a good student in high school. I was in the workplace this morning. So everybody, in this way, we are using the, the verb to be in the past. Remember in the first one, the place. Está indica en qué lugar estuvo usted ayer por la mañana. I was in my house yesterday morning. I was in the supermarket. I was in the church, etc. Okay, everybody, now let's continue with the questions with the verb to be, okay? We continue with the questions with the verb to be. Observe, please. Okay, pay attention to this. This is the, some questions, for example, the first question, observe, when were you born? Cuando nació usted? Cuando nació usted? Okay, and then you say, I was born. Yo nací. El. And remember, first the month. Primero ponemos el mes, después el día, y por último el año. ¿Se acuerdan los ordinal numbers? Entonces, algo similar estamos haciendo acá. Okay. I was born on, for example, I was born on December 6, 1993. I was born on December 6, 
1996, for example. So if when we use a specific year, everybody, cuando utilizamos un año específico, for example, in Spanish, you say 1996. Como que lo está diciendo en dos partes. 1996. Recuerde cuando expresamos un año que sea antes del año 2000. Ok, lo hacemos de esa manera. Lo hacemos de esa manera. 1996. Siempre y cuando sea un año antes del 2000. 1996. Por ejemplo, si usted nació en 1979, 1979, como que usted está diciendo en dos partes, 1979. Si usted nació en el 85, 1985. ¿Ok? Entonces, primero ponemos el primero. Decimos la primera parte, 19, y luego el otro número. Si nació en el 98, 1998, por ejemplo. 1998, etc. Okay? And this is the question, everybody. The question is, when were you born? ¿Cuándo nació usted? I was born on October 6, 1992, for example. Ya si usted nació en el año 2000, entonces ahí sería diferente. It's 2000. Sir, everybody. 2000. 2000. 2000. So if you say, for example, 2001, 2001, 2020, 2020, etc. Okay. And the second question, everybody, observe, please. The second question is, where were you born? Where were you born? Donde nació usted? Where were you born? I was born in... Okay, uh, remember, don't say, for example, I was born in a hospital. No, ahí se refiere a la ciudad donde usted nació. I was born in Sonsonate, I was born in San Salvador, I was born in eh, La Libertad, I was born in San Miguel, etc. Okay, where were you born? I was born in... And then the number three. This is a question with the past simple. Where did you grow up? Donde creció usted? I grew up in, in the city. I grew up in Ilopango. I grew up in uh, San Salvador. I grew up in Ciudad Delgado, etc. So this is the way we express the, the birth date, the birthplace, and the place where you grew up, everybody. Aquí expresamos el lugar donde usted nació, donde, cuando nació y donde creció. Okay, everybody pay attention to this, for example. Let's write here your birth date and birthplace. I was born on December 10th. 81. I was born in San Santa. Okay, everybody, express the same idea, please. Express it. Su fecha de nacimiento y lugar de nacimiento. I was born on. Cuando es la fecha, vamos a utilizar on. I was born on December 10th. 
I was born in Santa Ana. En la misma línea, luego nos lo comparte. Okay, this is my idea, everybody. I was born on December 10, 1981. I was born in Santa Ana. Okay, complete the idea, please. Complete, complete your idea. Okay, Jose Vela. I was born October 20, 1980. I was born in San Salvador. Perfect. Very good. Continue, everybody, please. Continue. I was born. Remember, everybody, the months with capital letter. Los meses deben de ir con inicial mayúscula. Los meses. Los nombres de ciudades también con inicial mayúscula. Okay, everybody, continue, please. I was born on. Primero el mes, día y el año. I was born on September 6, 2001, for example. Remember, everybody, you have to include the month first. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Yes, yes, tell me, please. Uh, in the second question, uh, birthplace, uh, the words where and where, uh, uh, suenan igual, some, some same. Ah, okay, let me, uh, let me, let me practice the pronunciation here. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me when you say where, donde, where, where, where. And the verb to be in the past in plural is were. Where were you born? Es similar, pero no es el mismo sonido. Okay. Where were you born? When were you born? I was born in San Miguel. I was born in Santa Ana. So in the question, remember, where were? You know, it's a C, there's a new standard. Where? Donde? Y el otro es sonido así como más ronco, más, más, un poco más sonoro. Where? When were you born? Okay, o cuando dicen plural también. We were in the church yesterday. Nosotros estuvimos en la iglesia ayer. We were in the church yesterday. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, everybody, so this is the way this is the way we express our biographic information. I was born on December 6, 1992, for example. I was born in Santa Ana. Now the question number three. Pay attention to the question three, please. Where did you grow up? Donde creció usted? So in this context, I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up in Merliot. I grew up in uh, San Marcos. 
etc. And now pay attention to the question number four. Where did you study elementary school? Donde estudió primaria? Elementary school. Where did you study middle school? Ese es el que le decimos nosotros en, en El Salvador. Tercer ciclo. The middle school. Elementary school, es es de primero a sexto grado. Okay. Elementary school. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade. Now, middle school is seven, eight, and ninth grade. In high school, okay, bachillerato. Where did you study elementary school? Where did you study middle school? Where did you study high school? Where did you study high school? I studied high school in the Colegio Padre Arrupo. I studied high school in Liceo Salvadoreño. I studied high school in Colegio Reverendo Juan Bueno, etc. Okay? Now, let's practice the questions, everybody. Let's have an interaction in this moment. Okay? Let's see the first interaction. Okay, Kayla. Three questions for Tamara, please. Okay, Kayla and Tamara, turn on the microphone and the camera, please. Okay, Kayla, three questions for Tamara. When were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where were you born? No, pay attention. In this case, Tamara is when. La primera when. pregunta era cuando. When. When were you born? Cuando nació usted? Um, I born. I was. Oh, I was born. I was born in nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. But the month first. Primero tiene que decir el mes y el día. Como la fecha de cumpleaños. Uh, Ahí I como la fecha de cumpleaños. On June. I was born on June ten nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Perfect. Recuerden. Todos, por favor, recuerden cuando decía su fecha de cumpleaños. My birthday is on October 10th. Entonces, igual. Okay. I was born on October 10th. Y ahí solo le agregamos el año. Okay. Eh, Kayla, question number two for Tamara, please. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, number three, Kayla. Question number three. Where did you study middle school? I study middle school in Centro Escolar San Bartolo. Centro Escolar San Bartolo. Okay, perfect. Now, Tamara, three questions for Kayla, please. Tres preguntas a Kayla. Okay. Where did you grow, grow up? I grew up in Ilopango. I grew up in Ilopango, very good. Where did you study elementary school? I studied Elementary School in Complejo Educativo Reparto Valle Nuevo. Okay. Okay. Um, when were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's continue with uh, uh, Santiago. En José Sol. Santiago, 
and Jose, turn on the microphone and the camera, please. Okay, let's see. Jose, three questions for Santiago, please. Santiago, where were you born? I was born in Santa Ana. Where do you where did you grow up? I grew up in Santa Ana. E where did you study? Uh, in middle school? Where did you study middle school? I studied in middle school in Centro Escolar Juan Jose Bernal. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Santiago, three questions for Jose, please. When were you born? I, want, I was born on March 30, 1964. Where did you study high school? High school in I in in Framen. Okay, I studied high school in in Framen. Very good. And the last question, Santiago, please. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Thank you, Santiago. Thank you, Jose. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with uh, two more classmates. Let's see, uh, Maribel and Kayla, please. Maribel and Kayla, please. Maribel, three okay. questions for Kayla. When were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where were you born? Where were you born? Wow. Entonces la anterior era la primera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yeah, the first question. Remember everybody, pay attention to the pronunciation. The first one is when. When mm -hmm. were you born? And the next is where were you born? Okay, repeat the question, Maribel, please. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where did you grow? Up? I grew up in Ilopango. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Kayla, okay, three questions for Maribel, please. Where did you study elementary school? Uh, I was elementary. Uh, I studied. I studied elementary I, school. I studied elementary school in in, in La Panama. Okay. Number okay. two, Kayla, please. When were you born? I was born on May 29. And the year, okay. 19. And I'm here. El año. 19. And then 1979. 1979. Okay. And the last question, please. Where did you grow up? I were I grew in um, in San Miguel. I grew up in San Miguel. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Kayla. Okay. And thank you, Maribel. Thank you for the preparation. Now let's see Kayla and Katya. Sorry, Kenya. Kenya and Katya. Kenya, three questions for Katya, please. 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 Kenya, three questions for Katya, please.
Kenya and Kata, and Kata, turn on the microphone and the camera, please. Um, Katia, when were you born? I was born on August 17, 1972. Mm, where did you grow up? I grew up in Santana. Uh, where did you study middle school? I studied middle school in San Vicente de Paul School. San Vicente de Paul School, okay. Now, Katia, three questions for Kenya, please. Kenya, when were you born? I was born on January 16, and 1999. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where did you study elementary school? I studied elementary school in Valle Nuevo School. Valle Nuevo School. Okay, thank you, Captain. Thank you, again. Thank you for your interaction. Now let's continue with Jose. Jose Vela. Three questions for Jenny Melendez, please. Okay, Jenny, uh, when were you born? I was born on November 25, 1980. 1980. 1980. 1980. 1980. Okay, uh, the question, uh, where were you born? I was born in downtown. Okay. Uh, where, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up. I grew up. I, I grew up. Grew up in San Salvador. Okay, Jenny. Three questions for Jose. Okay. Uh, where were you grown? Uh, excuse me, repeat, uh, please. <laughs> okay. Where, where get, were you grown? No, it's uh, where did you grow up? Is, no, it's where were you grown? Ah, where were you born? The birthplace. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where okay, did you uh, where did you study high school? I studied high school in Colegio Hebron. Colegio Hebron. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. Jose. Okay. Now Thanks. let's continue with the last interaction. Let's see Alejandro and Israel, please. Alejandro, okay. three questions for Israel. Okay. Um, where were you born? I was born on um, February 1st, 80, 89. No, 1989. 19? 1989. 89. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up 
in San Salvador. Okay. Where did you study high school? I study high school in Centro Escolar Profesor Doctor Efraín Juel. Okay, very good. Now let's see, Israel, three questions for Alejandro, please. Okay. When were where you born? I was born on June 6, 1993. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Vicente. Okay, thank you. Now let's hit the last one with Ibis. Okay, thank you, Israel, and thank you, Alejandro. Ibis, when were you born? I born I was, I was. born. I was born in San Salvador. No, it's when were you born? I, I was born on December 20, 23rd. Okay, December 21st. And 1987. 1987. Okay, very well. Where did you study in high school? Please. I was I was studying in no in this case I studied using the verb to be. Yo estudié. I studied. I study in Centro Escolar Salguero. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, everybody, let's continue with the last exercise of the night. Pay attention to this, please. Okay, in this exercise, you have to choose the correct alternative. Was or were. Was or were. Let's see. Uh, Jose Bella, what do you think? What's the correct alternative here? Mm. What is the question, teacher? Yeah, Excuse you me. have to choose letter A or letter, let me see, wait, please, to share. Wait a second, please. Okay, look at the sentence, please. Ah, okay. Okay. The dog, the dog was very funny. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see Tamara, number two. The movie was interesting. Excellent. The movie was interesting. Let's see, Jose Sol, number three. Eh, para decir, the, uh, the cor popcorns. Were delicious. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. Very good. Now let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya, number four is for you. The books were interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so in this case, because it's plural, because it's plural, we have were. Were interesting. Perfect. 
Alejandro, number five. He was hungry. That's right. He was hungry. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, Israel, number six. Um, the class were boring. Okay, because it's plural, okay, classes, okay, we use word. Okay, and uh, let's see, Evie's number seven, the last one, please. Is what do you think? It is okay. So I volunteer, please. I volunteer here, everybody. So in this case, it was it was a scary. Custom. Okay, guys, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, I want you to please take a picture or take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot or take a picture for this because tomorrow you're going to have an interview with a different classmate. But you have to remember that.